You can achieve nice color on textiles by making plant dye with aloe vera leaves. In my experience, the key to successfully achieving color that's significant is to ensure that your leaves have a great concentration of aloin, which is the yellow substance that oozes from the leaves. I want to point out here that this substance is considered to be toxic um, to the body if consumed, so be aware of that, especially if you have little children around, like I usually do when I'm making my plant dyes. I'm strictly doing this for fabric. So in the following footage, you'll see me making aloe vera plant dye in four different ways. Well, it's really five ways when you consider the final process that I'm going to do, which is primarily how I do it whenever I make plant dye from aloe vera. Let me emphasize here that this is household ammonia, so it's heavily diluted with water, but still always use with caution, use in a ventilated area, and keep away from children. Although this is being listed as process number three, it's very much like process two, except the leaves have very little to no aloin, and that's going to make a difference. Okay, so I wanted to come to you directly and talk a little bit more about the results of this experiment of dyeing fabric with aloe vera leaves. As you could see in the video, I got um, a few various uh, shades of color and this biggest piece here that was um, tie dyed with a little circle shape in the middle, this is the one that I use the ammonia on. And you can see this light purple here. This is the color. And this may show up a little bit darker if you use animal uh, protein fibers such as silk or wool. But since I 
mostly used or really only used cellulose fibers like cotton and linen. My results um, tend to be a little bit lighter, I believe, than it would be otherwise. Now, this piece right here was just boiled with aloe vera leaves with no ammonia and as i said in the video the main component that you're looking for is the yellow substance that oozes from the leaves the aloe and that's really what's going to get you your color because as you can see this is a piece that i did not use um, that the leaves didn't have much aloe at all so they were pretty new leaves and it just didn't have aloe in. so it's really going to be about the aloe that's in the leaves the process of adding um, the ammonia is really not necessary because as you can see in the video you kind of get to the same result whether you use it or not my primary way of dyeing fabric is solar dyeing i i mostly just put things in a jar plant materials in a jar with fabric and let it let the sun provide the heat that's needed to extract the color the times when i don't do that is for certain leaves like the red ginger leaves that i use and the naupaka mostly with with leaves in general i boil it get the dye put it in a jar and put that in the sun but with aloe you don't even have to do that you can really just put the aloe in a jar and put that in the sun and i forgot i'm gonna go get a jar right now and show you that so this is a jar with aloe vera leaves in here that have been cut up and these leaves did have a high amount of aloe in so let's see, see. this is turning purple anyway i find that when i submerge it completely in the liquid it doesn't get this color this yellow color so and I my um, hypothesis about that is just that if it's out like this it's just getting more directly heated by the Sun and it's turning purple um, but just putting it well with this particular jar because I've done a few jars and got different results but just putting this in the dye it just makes a yellow color but if I want to achieve some purple spots on it when I'm just doing straight solo dyeing with aloe vera, I leave a piece sticking up out of the liquid and it gets me a purple. So although this video, I was showing you how to boil leaves and make dye, but to be honest, if I'm gonna be dyeing fabric with aloe vera, I'm probably just gonna be doing this, just doing the solo dyeing, just in a jar. And then to achieve, like I said, to achieve this purple, I can just kind of manipulate it every day or so for a few days to kind of get what I want. But you see the purple is there even without boiling or anything. Just these leaves in a jar. I didn't soak any of these fabrics in a loom prior to dyeing them. I just kind of went with the fact that aloe vera is high in tannins um, and went with that. But if you're selling products, if you, you know, if you're selling things to people, you want the color to last. Uh, so you can go through various mortaring processes to try to facilitate that. I have one or two videos on this channel about mortising. I don't stress a lot about that because I'm mostly just experimenting and enjoying doing this. Um, but I will say that there are times um, where I will save avocado pits and just boil them because those are also high in tannins and then just let my fabric sit in that for a while. Um, sometimes I do a loom. I'm not really measuring things these days. I'm just like eyeballing it, putting some aluminum water, letting the fabric soak. And then I may also put the same fabric in, like say avocado, uh, boiled out of avocado solution. Or if I read that the leaves have a high amount of tannin, I might not do the avocado step. Just wanted to touch on that a little bit. You can find a lot of information about mortising online though. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share. Experimentation with aloe vera leaves your leaves need to have a high amount of aloe in. that's what's going to produce the purple if they're young leaves and they, ha they don't have much you're probably just going to end up getting a very light light color like this i mean this still has color it's very 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 light purple or pink so you'll still have that okay so i just happen to be sitting next to this aloe vera plant oh, so a few we have out here just kind of sitting back here in the yard and I'm gonna open one right quick and see these are pretty old and they seem like they may have a lot of aloe in and when I say a lot it's relative I mean if you got some I think you're good yeah so this one I can see some yellow in there bunch of grass in the way so if I were to take a few of these leaves and cut them up and boil them 
I would get purple dye. And then I could just boil my fabric in that or submerge my fabric after I turn the fire off, the heat off, or I could just put them in a jar like this and do it that way. So I think I'll end this video just by breaking up this piece and putting it, adding it to this jar.